Hey artists and art lovers, welcome back to another episode. I hope you are fine and doing well. I received so much love from you guys on the trailer, and as promised, I'm back with the complete step-by-step -step tutorial of my recent avocado drawing. I tried my best to make it as simple and easy as possible. So make sure to follow along, and let's get started. So as always, I'm gonna use these three types of pencils for this drawing. A 9B pencil for darker shades, a 3B pencil for medium shades, and a B pencil for base shades and outlines. Okay, now I'm gonna darken this rough outline using a B pencil. By the way, I draw these rough outlines using grid method or freehand in this case. I will soon explain this grid method in my portrait tutorial series, so keep an eye on that. Now take the same B pencil and fill the whole outline with a lighter base shade. Now take a soft synthetic watercolor brush and blend the base lightly. Ok, now take your 9B pencil and fill this avocado with a darker shade. And don't forget to leave these areas for highlights. Or you can follow the reference if you want. I've uploaded both the reference image and grid reference on my website. Link is in the description as always. Ok, now blend the shade with a dry brush. You have to add two layers of darker shade to make it look more three dimensional. Blending with a dry brush. Ok, now I'm gonna use this Tombow Mono Zero Razor to add the textures on this avocado. You just have to add some random lines using sharp tip razor. Or you can also use a homemade or replica of Mono Zero Razor if you don't have the original one. 
I've uploaded a video on that so you can check the cards after this video. Now adding some random white lines using a sharp tip razor. Now take your 3B pencil and add some shadows below each highlight or white line you can say. Now lightly blend the shadows with a dry brush. Ok now add the final highlights using a sharp tip razor. Add some finishing details and you are good to go.
Moving on to the second avocado. First of all, take your 3B pencil and fill the seed with a darker base shade. Now blend the shade with a dry brush. Okay, now take your mono zero razor or any sharp tip razor and add some highlights on both the ends of the seed. Now add another layer of darker shades on both the sides to make it look more realistic or three-dimensional. Okay, now take your B pencil and fill the edges with a lighter shade. and also add some shadow below the seed. Blending the shades with a dry brush. Okay, now grab your 3B pencil and darken the outline to show the exocarp or skin. Add some shade inside the outline to merge it with the inner shade.
Now blend all the shades with a dry brush. Ok now take your mono zero razor and add some highlights in this portion. Adding some highlights on the edges with the same mono zero razor. Okay, let's add a semicircle here to show the remains of the stock. Now add some highlights on the semicircle. You can also add some shadow below this avocado to make it more realistic or you can say three dimensional. Just add some lighter shade around and then fill the inside with a darker one and you are good to go. Can you see it? It's a ring light. Those who follow me on Instagram may have seen a story about DIY ring light. Actually, I made this DIY ring light using a piece of cardboard and things like that. So let me know in the comments if you want a tutorial on that. Let's clear the surrounding for a smoother background. And here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe because I upload new content every Saturday. And you can also support me on Patreon to get some awesome rewards in return. So thank you so much for watching, keep learning, keep drawing and have a nice day.